we will go ahead and get started again. All right, so last session for the entire academy. In this session, I just wanna point you to a couple of resources and also say a quick word about the COVID vaccine um, uh, work that we are doing. The first thing that I want to make sure that you are all aware of, and this will be the primary vehicle, the way in which we continue to communicate about supply chain is through the DHIS2 community of practice. Hopefully all of you are already members of the DHIS2 community of practice. This is a online platform uh, that allows all of the folks in the DHIS2 community, which is tens of thousands of people, to be able to share thoughts, ask questions, um, uh, just generally communicate. It's also the main way in which we communicate to you. The University of Oslo all of the developers, product managers like myself, all of the implementation team, we are constantly in here, the community of practice, providing resources, answering questions, um, just engaging with the community. And we find this is the best way for us to do that. Not just random emails here and there, but actually um, coming here to the community of practice and engaging with folks directly in a kind of a more of a conversation. So let me just point you to the URL. It's community.dhis2.org. I'm just gonna paste it here into the chat. This is again the place, especially if you have questions, especially if you have issues about DHIS2, this is where you need to go to find answers to those questions or to even ask those questions typically. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of it if you guys are not familiar with it already. Um, we have here, when you come in, once you make your account, uh, you can be able to come in and you can see these different categories on the left of the screen. You can also see some of the latest posts that people are putting or have uh, submitted. In the categories, we have a few, we have several different categories. We have a category in the annual conference. That's our big annual event that we do every year. Uh, we're planning for July of next year. No, sorry, excuse me, June of next year to have that. Uh, we just had it back in September of this year. Um, we have a, an area of where folks are able to connect uh, different um, language um, sub-communities, so for, uh, Francophone, Lusophone, Arabic um, community, um, as well as the Spanish community. Um, if you have jobs or you want to post a job or you are looking for a job around DHIS2, we have a place called Marketplace where you can find those. Also, various NGOs, ministries, um, DHIS community members may be having some events uh, based around DHIS2. They can post their events here in this connect channel. You can also just introduce yourself if you're new to the community and you just want the you want folks to uh, appreciate what you're doing with DHIS2. You can connect. You can just uh, let yourself be um, heard here in the in the connect category. We also have an announcements category. Announcements is mainly for us at the University of Oslo as well as our close partners to make big announcements, maybe about a new release uh, or a patch or UCI. You see most of it's about when we're announcing our releases of the actual software of the platform. Um, so you can follow this and stay up to date on the latest and greatest of uh, DHS2 um, functionality and releases. Uh, then we have an implementation category. I'm going to come back to this one in just a second, just skipping past it for now. We have a support and technical assistance category. This is a very important one for most people. This is where if you have a technical issue with DHIS2, you're not sure how to address it, you're not understanding exactly what's going on, you think something should be happening that it's not, this is where you can post that question. You can also search for the issue here as well. It's very likely that any issue that you're having with DHIS2, someone else has already had that issue and we have already answered that question. Or, um, 
And, and so you can come in here and see if there's ever been a similar question asked or a similar issue and what the response was. If you don't find anything, feel free to ask again. And, um, and we, we try to answer all the questions that come through here. We also strongly encourage and really ask those DHIS2 experts out there, many of you I know are watching this right now, uh, to go and answer questions yourselves. It doesn't have to be just the University of Oslo. This is a global movement, global initiative, uh, a platform used in uh, nearly 100 countries. It, is, it takes, it takes an, uh, the entire world to collaborate and, and work together to, to help everyone using DHIS2. So if you're a DHIS2 expert, feel free, and you know the answers to some of these questions, just answer them. No one's stopping you, we highly encourage it. Uh, it doesn't have to come from the University of Oslo all the time. Many of you out there know more about DHIS2 than many of the folks sitting at the University of Oslo, I guarantee that. And so please please uh, do help us out, answer questions as you, as you see them. And feel free to ask questions as well. Um, we also have a development channel. This development channel is for um, you software developers out there. This is where we're posting um, updates or new information about the actual development of, uh, of the software, um, uh, resources for developers. Uh, you can find those there. Um, we have a, uh, a, a research um, channel as well. We, of course, we're at the University of Oslo. We're doing active research. We have many researchers, PhD students, uh, full-time researchers. Also collaboration with other universities like the University of Basel uh, that are also putting out research. So this is a place for folks to, who are researchers around DHIS2 to, to connect. Then we also have uh, a resources channel. Resources is for links to um, training material, like the training material that we are going to have for this academy. Um, uh, webinars, user stories, that kind of stuff. You can find those in the resources. We have a whole channel specifically for translation. We have DHIS2 is translated to I think some like almost 40 different languages, uh, but that list is always growing. There's more translations required all the time. Uh, if you need support in translation or you have already translated part or the entire DHIS2 platform into a new language, uh, you can uh, please feel free to come into this channel and, and contribute. Uh, if you're interested in knowing how to translate DHIS2, uh, it's not as complex or as technical as you probably imagine. We have a plat we have a separate platform tool for this called TransFX that makes translation actually quite easy. So you can translate DHIS2 into virtually any language you want um, using the TransFX. But anyways, if you're interested in, in more about translations, you can come here to the, the translations. Um, and then we have a form feedback, and then we have a couple that are not for public. Um, use. Okay, so coming back to implementation, if we go to implementation, then we see that we have several different categories within implementation. We have a whole one devoted to the WHO digital packages. This is what we've been talking about. These are the, this, we are about to release one of these for supply chain, and we, we have many of these already um, developed for other um, WHO programmatic areas. Uh, we have an entire channel just or category, excuse me, just for COVID-19. You know, very, very active, tons and tons of uh, DHIS2 work and user stories, experiences, practices um, around COVID-19. Uh, DHIS2 being used for COVID-19 surveillance in about 30 or so countries now. Uh, I don't, I don't have the latest count, but um, yeah, very, very active. If you interested or concerned about using DHS2 for COVID surveillance in any form or fashion, this, this is the category for you in the implementation channel. We have one on server administration. If you're a server admin, folks engage there. Case-based surveillance, so it's individual tracker, and I'll just skip past the rest of these. These are, hopefully you can, on your own time, read these and understand. The one that I want to point you to, and this is the latest and greatest uh, channel or category in this, in the community practice, is the supply chain and LMIS. So if I click here on supply chain and LMIS, you will see that, so let me just zoom in a little bit. Supply chain and LMIS, you will see that there is one post already with three views. Um, and I just posted this about three hours ago. I posted links to all of the material that we have covered 
in this academy so far. So the PowerPoints and then the YouTube channel. Keep in mind that we're still up, we're still editing and uploading many of the uh, the videos from the previous days. So this is not a complete yet, but uh, I know Martin is, is working very hard on uh, getting all of the videos finished and, and posted to the YouTube channel. Uh, so you can rewatch any of the sessions that we've have gone through already. Uh, and here, I also want to strongly encourage you to post any thoughts, questions, issues, ideas, anything that you want to talk about, ask questions um, for supply chain using DHIS2 for supply chain or logistics management information system. Post those here. This is the place for you. This is the place for this group of people who are in this academy to continue to communicate after this academy is done. This channel within the implementation uh, um, section of the community of practice. So I am going to just post this link also to the chat. Please come here and this is where myself, um, George, Breno, uh, Aliyah, the whole team will be here able to um, hear your stories, answer your questions, um, and, and this is going to be our primary mode of communication. If you email me a specific question um, that I think that other people may benefit from knowing the answer to, I may repost it here just so I can reach a broader audience and, and folks in other countries who may have similar issues will, will be able to uh, benefit from that as well. So this is the place, this is the community of practice. This is where we will continue to have our updates and our communication around use of DHIS2 for supply chain. Um, so if you wanna stay with us, if you wanna continue down this path, this is the place to come. Please sign up for the community of practice. Um, I thought about making it a requirement in order to get your certificate for this academy. I'm not gonna be that mean about it, but um, if you do want to stay with this movement. You need to be here in the community practice. You're going and specifically in this particular um, uh, conversation thread in the implementation channel. Okay. Are there any questions about the community practice? I don't see any questions. So great, just reiterate, please join the community practice. All right, then what else? Let's go back to, let's take a look at, Pascal says, it's funny to see that there's a 444 topics under implementation and yeah, and 300, and, 34,608 topics under support. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's normal, right? It's the software. And there's lots of people that have lots of different issues about the software. Um, also, I would point out that we've been collecting support um, uh, requests and communication for the past like 12 years uh, through various other platforms that we're, we were using for this. And we imported all of those into the community of practice. So in the community practice in the support channel, you can see topics that go back to like, uh, like 2008, right? um, back in like DHIS two point something, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, and so all of that got pushed over. So when we started the community practice on this new platform, Discourse, uh, we we already had like some like uh, thirty thousand support top uh, 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 posts already there just from day one. Uh, and there was no implementation. So actually I feel like the growth rate, the growth curve is actually relatively somewhat even. We, we're kind of a, maybe a 10 to one post between support and uh, implementation. But, you know, I, I think that's, that's quite normal when you're uh, not only just when you're supporting a platform. Okay, sorry, rambling now, let, let this get on with the plot. 
um, I want to take us to the to the Google Drive. I'm going to have to just open. Bear with me for just one second. Okay, so here in the uh, Academy repository, I want to take your attention to day seven, then I want to take your attention to the feedback form. Here we have a continued support survey. What we need you to do is we need you to come in to the feedback form and complete this survey. This survey is what we are going to use to um, collect from you the various types of support requests that you have um, to help implement DHIS2 for your various supply chain projects or in, within your ministry. Again, I just want to stress that through our collaboration with the Stella project, the new staff and resources that we're bringing on board, we have resources to help you. And we need to collect your requests as soon as possible. Please do this a day if you are able um, so that we can start organizing our strategy for support around your request. So in the survey, we ask that you give us your name, your country, your role within your organization and your email address. We also want to capture just a little bit of additional information about how you're currently using DHIS2 for your supply chain. So the next question is, what is your current state of your LMIS? What technology are you using? This gives us, this helps us categorize the various countries. And uh, you know, some are using Excel, some are using DHS2, you maybe use open LMIS, et cetera. Just tell us what you're doing so that we can help kind of group countries together that have similar, um, that are using similar platforms. Uh, then do you collect any LMIS data in your HMIS? Please tell us that. Um, Tell us a little bit more information about that. We're not looking for an essay here. It can just be a few sentences. Um, please don't take too much time, but we do want enough detail so that we can kind of get a clear, a bit of an idea of what you're doing. Obviously, the more detail, the better. So if you are willing to write a lot, that's certainly uh, not discouraged. Um, then we start to ask a few questions about support. So first question is, do you need support with interoperability between your LMIS and DHIS2? If you tick yes, please tell us what kind of support you need. Do you need help with an interoperability layer? Do you need some kind of API connections? Maybe it's not, maybe you're not even that technical. Maybe you're just saying, I don't know how these things work, these two different technologies, but they are not talking to each other. I just need them to talk to each other. That's fine too. That's perfectly okay. Um, so, so if you need support with interoperability, uh, uh, tick that box, let us know what, 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 you, what you actually need. Uh, do you need, the next question is, do you need support building supply chain indicators in your analytics? Yes, no. And, you know, we've gone over the various different indicators. We've gone over how to do some of these in predictors, um, other standard indicators. You know, it can be quite complex. It can be very confusing, especially if you're not a DHIS2 guru. So if you need support, great, let us know. We will be able to support you um, to build out these kinds of indicators. Um, do you need, next question is, do you need support in training in the use of supply chain data? This is something that I think a lot of countries are also struggling with. And we've seen this, George and I, in, this, in the few countries that we've worked with already, where many folks, they're not, they've never had the data before, or if they have had the data, they've never used it. So they have to train folks at district level, at facility level, regional level, how to actually start to use this data. We have training experience, we have training teams, we have folks that can help with that as well. We have material uh, uh, developed. Next question is, do you need support um, training in the capture of supply chain data from facility level? Obviously, if you're pushing your, your supply chain data capture all the way down to the lowest level, it can be 
a very massive training burden to get everyone, all the various facilities to actually start to put that data in. Again, something we have a lot of experience and material expertise on, so we, can, we can certainly support that initiative. You know, we're probably not gonna be the folks going out and training all the facilities, but we can help you kind of build maybe like a TOT um, uh, process of like training our trainers so that you have, you feel that you have the ability to go out and adequately train folks at the city level. Last uh, or second to last question, do you need support developing supply chain standard operating procedures? Um, something that we haven't touched on much in this academy, but we certainly appreciate that with any kind of information system, it, re it certainly necessitates, requires the need of having robust standard operating procedures. Standard operating procedures essentially tell anyone who's interacting with that system on what they should be doing, when they should be doing it. Uh, it just kind of makes the roles and responsibilities of the system very, very clear. Um, most countries are, in, in our experience, lack these in general and, and certainly have a, uh, don't have enough when it comes to the supply chain system um, or the LMIS. So if you need help writing these or getting these implemented, uh, uh, that's additional things that we would be happy to support. Um, and then finally, if there's anything else, anything at all, um, feel free to type whatever it is that you think you need support with. Um, go ahead and submit this. We will be collecting these. Uh, we will be engaging with our larger implementation team, the HIS community, our Stella partners, um, and, and devising strategies, uh, assigning people to actually contact you and, and, and work with you to get you the support that you're requesting. Uh, you know, the number one rule for, for me in this whole DHIS2 world is do not suffer in silence. There are people, there is expertise out there to help you. You just need to let us know. Okay, then the last thing that I want to bring up is um, our work on the COVID vaccine. So, um, I'm not, I don't really have anything yet to show you. I can't really show you, you know, a, a functional system or anything like that yet. But I just do want to let you know that we are talking to folks at the WHO, um, CDC at very high levels to work out how can DHIS2 help in the distribution um, and management of a COVID vaccine, which is hopefully coming very soon. In fact, there's, you know, just earlier today, there was announced that there are two vaccines in stage two trials that have very high efficacy, um, but these vaccines also potentially have fairly complex supply chain and distribution requirements in that they might have to have, um, uh, they, uh, they might be have to be frozen on dry ice in order to uh, distribute them, which of course becomes a logistical problem. And so we are working with WHO and the CDC uh, on almost a daily basis now to figure out how can DHIS2 support countries that, that get these vaccines and need to distribute them. Um, and please uh, keep an eye on this. If this is something that you would like to know more about, we will be posting any information and development that we have in both our COVID channel as well as in our supply chain channel on the community practice. So again, another reason why you need to be in the community practice because that's where we're gonna be posting these updated uh, um, resources. I would also ask that if you are a country are currently planning or have even worked out how to use DHIS2 for um, um, immunization or, or for um, COVID uh, immunization um, distribution, please do share that with us as well. Your innovations can probably help dozens of other countries. And so we wanna make sure that we are communicating out the latest and greatest from within the community um, as well. We are basing the current models and approaches that we have um, off of the, the um, immunization supply chain uh, um, experience and modules that we have. Um, we are also working with several third-party developers, specifically HIS Uganda, to develop a, um, uh, a, a vaccine uh, distribution dashboard. Um, so kind of a real-time data update dashboard that would help you in while you're actually distributing vaccines and doing this mass immunization campaign. 
Uh, Uganda has quite a lot of experience in doing this with several diseases, so it's something that we are, we're drawing from them. Uh, so we could have new applications in the near future for specifically this as well to be able to visualize the data. Um, we also have our server and um, backend teams working on making sure that uh, the platform is, is um, performant enough to be able to capture all of this data. So in a, ma in a mass immunization campaign, you expect to have not thousands, but tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of different um, uh, org units, different people entering data into the system at one time. And so we have to make sure that the DHIS2 backend is able to support this, is able to process all this data, is able to produce the analytics, uh, send out the alerts and notifications that are required. Um, so we also have a team working on that. Long story short, we are putting a lot of focus onto the COVID vaccine and making sure DHIS2 is ready for that when it does come, which again is hopefully in the very near future for all of us. Um, so please stay tuned on that. And the place to stay tuned on that is in the community of practice in the COVID-19 channel, as well as the supply chain channel that I've just shown you. Okay, Alice, Martin, any yes. last? I'm yeah, also posting in the chat the link to the final um, academy feedback. So please fill out the feedback. Again, you all are kind of, this is the very first supply chain uh, LMIS Academy we have ever done. Um, we know it was far from perfect. There's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, when we do this again next year, I think that you will probably see a lot more interactivity, a lot more um, exercises that we'll be able to go through together. Um, but because it's the first time we've done it, we've kind of kept it to a seminar style, um, which makes it a little bit easier for, for us to get all the information out there, um, but also um, makes it means that it's a little less normative uh, uh, for you um, in terms of how to do this. So anyways, long story short, please fill out the feedback. We really take it to heart. We review it in detail uh, and we will use that feedback to improve the next time this academy uh, comes along, which again, hopefully is uh, sometime uh, next year, not too long from now. Alice, Martin, anything else? I just wanted to add a, another reminder about the attendance. Uh, remember to, if you haven't already, go back and double check that you have uh, written in the word of the day in all the attendance forms for the whole academy. You have, um, yeah, if you missed the video, make sure, please make sure you do that because that is the only way we know that you have attended and watched the video. So that will be important for your uh, certification. Yes, and then uh, I think by Thursday we will start reviewing all the responses so that we can generate the certificates that you will probably receive next week. That's it. That's it. Okay, so if you don't hear from us probably with by the um, say the end of the month, maybe the first week in December about your certificate and you have gone in, you've done all the attendance and you haven't heard it from us, please do reach out um, and, and follow up on your attendance. There's about 170 of you that have been registered for this academy. Uh, so it's, it's unfortunate that some folks may slip through the cracks. Um, so please, uh, you know, be an advocate for yourself if you, if you ha do not receive the certificate uh, you're expecting to receive the certificate because you would fill it out the attendance for every single day, um, then please do reach out to us and, 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 and let us know. And we'll follow up with that, of course. If there are no other announcements, then I guess I also have the distinct pleasure of closing the academy. Uh, no big speeches from anyone other than just to say, this is the start of something that is much bigger. This academy is meant to kick off a community of practice, and I've shown you on the community of practice, community.dhis2.org, where you can go to be engaged with us going forward. Hopefully you all feel that you know at least 
quite a bit more about how DHIS2 can be used for supply chain. You've seen some examples, you've, uh, you've seen some demonstrations, you've even gotten a little bit of insight and guidance on how to configure some of the things uh, to be able to produce the indicators and the analytics within DHIS2. You've been introduced to the new, the brand new WHO indicators and data elements uh, and seen some basic reporting forms for those. Uh, as well as lots of use cases, lots of great innovations from across Africa, Southeast Asia, uh, where folks are already out there using DHS2 uh, for supply chain monitoring and, and logistics. You've also heard from some technology partners, uh, Medexis, um, uh, M-Supply, on how these other platforms that are more specialized for different uh, functionalities within the supply chain system uh, are are working with DHIS2. Oh, also OpenLMIS and how they're working in Malawi. Um, again, please, this is not a goodbye. This is just a see you later. We will be on the community practice. You have, I don't know if you have my email. Can I give you my email? I'm just gonna write it here. Scott Arson, just to remind you about the group picture. Yeah, of course. So, um, my email is just scott at dhis2.org. Feel free to email me about anything that we've talked about here, uh, especially if you're struggling with predictors or something like that. I know that can be problematic. Uh, so I'm very happy to help you with that. Also, uh, post it in the community practice. If you email me, it's very likely that I will just repost it to the community practice and answer your question in the community practice. Because if you have the problem, that's very likely that many folks, many other folks also have that issue. Okay, Alice, thank you for the reminder. The last thing that we want to do is we want to take a picture of all of you. We can't physically be together, but what I'm going to ask is that all of you turn on your cameras. We'll turn on your cameras now, if you're willing, if you happy to do it. George is just showing a galaxy. There's Julius, I see you. Uh, Scott, would you mind taking off your, uh, stop sharing your screen first? Yep. There we go, thank so you. We're gonna turn on our cameras, yep. Yeah. Bruno, Pedro, I've seen lots of folks. Now you're all coming. Sam, everyone's fixing their hair, making sure that they're looking nice. Yeah, all your faces. It's lovely. Some of you wearing your mask, doing social distancing. All the various rooms and fixing your ties. You all look lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is a new, a new tradition that we have within all of these digital academies. We got all our cameras on, we're gonna wave at the camera and Alice is gonna take a screenshot and then we're gonna post the screenshot up into our, um, in our newsletter. So that all of you see. Okay, so Alice, are you ready? Yes, please go ahead. Okay, Alice, now we're just gonna wave. <laughs> this is as yeah. good as it gets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please continue doing so, just a minute. We're just gonna keep waving because Alice is gonna take lots of photos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Martin, if you want to take some from your side as well. Yeah, good try. Oh, All right. We even have some folks coming in as well. Yeah, grab your friends and family if they're around, get them in the photo. Okay, this is really, really great. Please don't okay. stop. <laughs> oh, no, there's, there's seven pages of you, so you gotta get all the pages. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's lovely. All right. This is great. This is you are amazing. Thank you all for your for your patience and let me up. Yes, that's good. good. All right, that is a lovely way to end the academy. Again, I just want to thank you all so much for joining. Um, please don't be silent when you have any issues or questions. Please join the community practice. We're there. We're all every day here to help. Um, and we look forward to staying connected with you going forward. So with that, have a good rest of your day, good rest of the year. And again, this is not goodbye, but just uh, see you later. So see you later. Yeah.